Well, as I mentioned to you before, there's lots of tasty things you can make with black beans, and the dish that we made while we were there was one of them, and only one. Tonight, Phil is going to show us how to make another tasty dish with black beans and medium spicy salsa, although you can choose the heat level of salsa to your choice. But we will only be using a little bit of salsa to a higher proportion of beans and other ingredients, so it will dilute the spice quite a bit. Mmm, tasty. Okay, in addition to the beans and the <coughs> salsa, we're going to be using basil leaves, garlic powder, tomato, onion, avocado if desired, or you can leave it out if you don't, and in this case we're using natural yellow corn chips. Although, you can use blue ones or white ones or any kind you like or none at all. The choice is always yours. And making slight variations will of course add subtle tasty differences to your dish, any of which will be very delicious. Mmm! So Phil is going to start by placing the beans in the pan and he is going to be making enough for two servings because he and I are the only ones who will be eating this tonight and neither one of us need more than one serving because we just cannot eat that much at one time. Now this is a very easy dish to make, Phil says, and he's the master at it. And I'd like to point out that we are using a small pan. This is not a full size pan and the reason that might be important for you to know is because if you're using a full size pan and you fill it with beans to look like the amount that these beans are filling this pan, you will probably end up with far too many beans. If you'll take notice, this pan is on the small electric burner and not the large one. Let me just give you a reference to my hand. There's my hand in reference to this pan. Okay, and there is the, the some here. beans and Phil wanted to make a note that he takes the beans out of the water. Okay, he, he takes them out and he kind of strings the water out like that. Okay, so he's not putting in all the water in the pan. Okay? So there's a little of the liquid in there, but not too much. Okay, that's not an annoying sound. But anyways, um, if you'll notice, he has the temperature set at 3, and he's now putting in a few spoons of the salsa. Mmm, tasty. It's about half the thing. Okay, he said it's about half of the jar. And what size jar is that? How many ounces are in there? 16 ounce jar, okay? Basil. So he's sprinkling in some basil now. Mmm, tasty. And then while that's going, I'm going to get this ready. Okay, so... If you didn't hear him, which you may or may not have because he's speaking lower than I am and I'm speaking more loudly, um, he said that he's just going to let that heat up on a slow temperature. It's at number three while he starts getting the vegetables ready. So right now he's preparing to cut the tomato and then he'll cut some onion and some avocado. So we'll be back in a sec. Oh yes, always wash your tomato first. In this case, Bill is cutting the whole tomato. So, because he's making this dish for two people, we in essence will be getting a half of a tomato each. And if you did notice, it was not a huge tomato, like the size they used to have in the stores, um, but it's also not a very small tomato either. It's perhaps in the Goldilocks zone. This is the second slice of onion that Phil's making. He already made one slice already and has diced that up, as you can see, to the right of where he's slicing. Will this be the final amount of onion that you are chopping for this evening's dish? It is. Okay, it is. This will be the final amount. Of course, you can adjust the amount of onion as per your taste, because some people like mucho cebolla, and other people don't like as much. Hmm, he's decided to add just a little more. And as you can see, he is separating the two piles of onion away from each other. He's going to be adding one pile to each bowl. He'll probably do the same thing with the tomatoes too. Yes? Yes, he just hasn't gotten to it yet. Ah, but there he goes. 
divvying up the little piles as we speak. Yum. Phil is simultaneously cooking a pizza for himself, so please don't be alarmed. The opening of the oven door has nothing to do with this particular bean dish. Phil has gotten the two bowls out, and he is going to place the onions in the bottom of each bowl. Now, in case you're wondering, we are using Corel bowls. These are a little bit larger of Corel bowls than the size that comes in the box set if you were to buy a Corel box set of bowls. These are not the size that would come in that box, but these are a size that you can buy individually at places like Kmart or Walmart or Target, in case anybody would like to know. And now Phil is mixing the tomatoes and the onions. Phil is now stirring the bean and salsa mix. It's had a chance to get a little bit warm. And now he is gently blending the ingredients together. Phil is now adding the garlic. He waits to add the garlic until towards the end. And he is going to let that simmer for a couple more minutes. Now that the beans have been left to warm up a little bit more, Phil is now going to stir it again, folding in evenly the garlic powder that he had so recently sprinkled upon the top. Mmm. This dish is very quick to make. I've paused the recording for a few minutes here and there in between some of the sections, but I would say the total cooking time is what, like maybe 10, 12 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 10 or 12 minutes probably, okay? And it's a very tasty and filling dish, and it's very heart smart and good for your arteries too. Yum. It's been a couple of minutes since Phil last stirred. He says you want this to get nice and warm, but you don't want it super hot, so he tries to end the warming process just before it would come to the point of starting to bubble. Now he's going to serve the bowls. So he puts this right on top of the tomatoes and the onions. avocado in each. Mmm, half of an avocado in each. Yummy. Avocados are extremely healthy. They have no harmful fats in them and they have very health promoting fats in them. They're really good for you. They're stabilizing. And at one point I lost a ton of weight eating a couple of avocados a day. And well of course I ate a lot of other healthy things too and I didn't eat anything bad. So like some total I lost a lot of weight because of all of that. But if you ever hear anyone say they're not even eating avocados because of the fat or because it's fattening, they're full of crap. And you should tell them to stop going to the freaking McDonald's takeout line because that's where the fattening crap really is. But, you know, what do I know? No, I just wash my hands. So for the last part, Phil is sprinkling more basil on top of each one. And, and with the two spoons... And mash up the avocado a little bit and start stirring from underneath. And when this is done, you can either take some of those nice crunchy corn chips and you can break them into smaller pieces and let them rest on top. I wouldn't mix them in because then they'll get gushy, but if you let them rest on top, you can spoon straight down through them to get the goodies underneath and have a nice combination of them together. Or you can use the full corn chip and just spoon a little of this onto each larger size corn chip and stick them into your mouth. Mmm, it's fabulous either way.